I followed Dester to help.
Destu's punishment was brutal, but his death brought little satisfaction. The horrors of the Wailing Death could not be undone with his execution. Those that had suffered now turned on each other. They looked for someone to blame, and found it in Destu's closest friend, Fenthic. The letter of the law found him negligent, and he was hanged as a sacrifice to appease the bloodthirsty mob. If any thought the sentence unjust, they remained silent. Duty required all to act as one. It was not the time for divided loyalties. The cult behind Dester's treachery still had to be found. The hunt led to the coastal town of Port Last. From here, the heroes of Neverwinter would continue the search for those behind the Wailing Death, and vengeance would be taken. It is good to see you here in Port Last, my friend. I do not know how much you have been told about Lord Nash's orders. I shall help you understand whatever I can, certainly. How I feel is unimportant next to the mission we have been given. You know, of course, that Dester and... and Fenthic were associated with some manner of religious cult. We know so little about this cult. And it would be foolish in the extreme to suppose that, simply because their activities in Neverwinter have been stopped, that they have been defeated. Lord Nasher commands that we track down the headquarters of this cult and discover their plans. Erin Gend, Lord Nasher's spymaster, is here in Port Last to help us do this. It is possible that agents of the cult may be behind some of these activities. If so, we may be able to find them and discover where their base is located. Aye, it is. As I am sure you can well imagine. I wish, with such fervor that it frightens me, to see those allies of Desta pay. I am a paladin of Tyr, sworn to uphold good and justice. Yet somehow I cannot condemn Fenthic in my heart. He meant only to do what he saw was his duty, I am sure of it. But as a paladin, I am supposed to hold myself above such earthly concerns. It... Oh, but I should not be distracting you from your task. It... It is just that Fenthic's fate could have been mine, or yours, or anyone's. How do you know that the path you walk is the correct one? I have never questioned my faith or my duty before, but neither did Fenthic. Perhaps I am merely wallowing in my sorrow. Perhaps I know my path better than I think I do, but I am no longer sure. Is it wrong for me to think such thoughts? Yet I have no answers, only more questions. The safety of Neverwinter relies on your mission, and my duty regarding that is more than clear. Of course, ask what you will of me. I am here to see that Lord Nash's commands are carried out. Admittedly, my own role seems sparse. Part of me thinks that my Lord Nash simply wishes someone he trusts in this role, while another believes he does not wish to be reminded of Fenthic. Or my... Regardless, we will do all that we can to help you. Do not think your efforts go unrecognized. Aaron has several ideas on places where the cult may be hidden. Currently, he is working on finding a way into the city of Luskin. I suggest you talk to Aaron about where these places might be. If we are fortunate, you will perhaps encounter some part of the cult and gain information as to who they are and where they are based. The search does continue within the city. Indeed, Lord Nasher is having Neverwinter scout. It is his feeling, however, that the true force of the cult lies outside of Neverwinter. Any information you discover should be brought to Eren and myself. Once we know more about the cult, Lord Nasher can decide what to do next. Certainly. 
Why do you ask me that? The spy master put you up to this, didn't he? I see. I suppose my state is obvious enough. The servants claim I speak in my sleep and say frightening things. After all that has happened with the plague and... and Venthic. I think a disturbing dream or two is not so surprising, wouldn't you agree? Now you too? Has the world gone mad or is it me? Perhaps you are right. Having the perspective of another on these dreams may not be a bad idea. I... I am falling in the dream. Always falling, surrounded by a heavy blackness which chokes and drowns me, and... and then I see a shrouded figure. It is Fenthic. He is walking away from me, and I run to catch him, but always he eludes me in the darkness. The voices get so much louder. They are accusing me, blaming me, and then I catch up to the figure, and I see that it is not Fenthic. He turns and gazes at me with sad eyes, and I know it is Tyr. These... these are my dreams. Perhaps now you can understand why I have not wished to discuss them. I am frightened of what they may mean. That's kind of you to say. I am glad I told you, at least. I do feel better for it. Thank you. I am reminded a little of how I was introduced to the Paladin life. Until then, however, I would suggest you speak to Erin Gend. Greetings and well met. I know you, don't I? You saved the city of Neverwinter. I heard the tales of your deeds as they were sung by a bard. Hail, friend. You were instrumental in ridding Neverwinter of the Wailing Death, I understand. You have shown yourself to be possessed of remarkable courage and resourcefulness, but that is not how we should begin. I am known as Aaron Gen, and I have served our Lord Nasher for some time. Indeed, I know who you are. My place lies in the shadows. I have many eyes and ears throughout the Northern Lands. If only I had foreseen the actions of this cult. I could have prevented the disaster. Instead of recriminating myself for my failure, I must do what I can to repair the damage. And that is to offer what information I have to you. Erebeth has informed you of where you must search, yes? She has told you of how you may root out these fiends? Unearthing the cult will not be a simple task. It is vital that the cult's exact location be found, and that we are certain any leads we discover are not attempts at deception. I do know of one possible lead for you. If not, there are other avenues for you to investigate. The city. I suggest, however, that looking into the caves first would still be your wisest choice. The caves are in the hills to the north of Port Last, near the Green Griffin Inn. They have long been used by humanoid tribes of orcs, bugbears, and the like. In recent months, however, I have received word that these various humanoid creatures have been raiding the roads south of Luskan. This would not be unusual, except that the creatures now seem very organized and, I hear, are being led by humans. This leads me to believe the cult may be involved. That will be for you to determine. Just keep this in mind. No matter what you find there, Erebeth will wish two firm leads on the cult's location. 
before she will act. We cannot afford a mistake. Have you a question for me then, my friend? May the luck of the gods be yours, my friend. Greetings and well met. You are the one I heard of, aren't you? The one responsible for saving the city of Neverwinter. Is there something you... I am pleased to see that you remain safe, my friend. Have you yet discovered any new information on the... I did say that, didn't I? Are you sure you wish to hear the tale? It is not an exciting one, and I would not wish to bore you. <laughs> of that, I somehow have little doubt. Where should I begin? My family lived in a human village in the wild lands of the northern mountains. The village was destroyed when the orcs massed and attacked the Southlands. For years, I thought of little but wreaking bloody vengeance upon the orcs. It was not an easy thing. My lust for vengeance consumed me. I was no better than the beasts I hunted to... On the fifth winter of my hunt, I stalked an orc tribe deep into the spine of the world and encountered a blizzard so terrible I could do naught but camp and pray. The blizzard was merciless and lasted days, and as I lay dying in the snow and wind, I spotted a human man approaching. 
He was tall and strong, though I noticed he was missing his right hand. I remembered nothing beyond that. When I awoke, I found myself at a small ilmatary monastery. I have often thought him thus. An avatar of the maimed god himself. Whoever he was, the ilmatary monks had not seen him bring me. And I never saw him again. He came to me time and time again in my dreams for many months afterwards, telling me that my vengeance would bring no true justice. I refused him at first, determined to return to my bloody hunt. The dreams came more frequently, and the man grew more stern with me. The path lay elsewhere, I was told, and reluctantly I left the mountains and came to Neverwinter and entered the service of Tyr. Not right away. I did not meet Venthic until later, in fact. Tyr's clerics took me in, and over time I learned their ways and grew to admire the maimed god. My dedication saw me rise through the ranks, and it was much later that I encountered the young acolyte, Fenthic, and knew that I had found my true path at last. No, I thank you. Thank you for listening to my tale. I am glad that you have come to work for Lord Nasha. I would be glad to call you a... a friend. Tia only knows that finding a friend in times like these is difficult enough. I am glad, my friend. Let us return to the subject of your mission. Then I wish you well. It is good to have you yet discovered any new empath. Then I wish you well. Hello there. I'd warn you to be careful of danger near these roads. You look like you can handle yourself, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> told me you had a fine face, but gosh, you're the hero of Neverwinter, that...